If you are strong in your 40s and 50s, you will have a two and a half times greater chance to live to 100, just based on strength. The stronger you are, the more muscle mass you have, the greater your survivability. Furthermore, the more fat that becomes infiltrated into your skeletal muscle mass, the less likely you are to survive anything. This sounds pretty morbid, right? It sounds morbid, but we can fix it. And this idea of, of insulin resistance. And I'm kind of laying the foundation for you so that you can understand the importance of skeletal muscle and, and probably even more so, the criticalness of the pathology. If you understand the impact that skeletal muscle mass will have on your health and your patients and your client's health, then you cannot have a conversation without talking about muscle. Hey, your skin looks good. I noticed that um, you don't have a double chin anymore. Hey, let's talk about your muscle. How's that pelvic floor doing? It's that important. And insulin resistance, insulin resistance begins in skeletal muscle mass decades earlier. This is a key paper, so this is out of Yale. So this is Peterson, uh, Peterson's lab out of Yale. He looked at, well, it was him and his wife, Kit. They looked at 18-year-old healthy, sedentary college students. Healthy, lean, 18, not moving. Do you know what they saw? Insulin resistance. You do not have to have an overt sign of obesity or weight gain to be insulin resistant because insulin resistance begins in sedentary muscle. Now, if we're putting all this together, we're thinking, but only 50% of Americans work out. Over 70% of Americans do not meet the baseline criteria, which in and of itself is abysmal. It's 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous activity and two days a week of some kind of resistance training. We are setting the bar so low that there's opportunity to, for improvement. And let's say someone doesn't want to train or can't, then we have to be able to offer solutions for the health of skeletal muscle. You can see here letter, letter C. I was thinking, is it letters or numbers? C. This is a 24-year-old male with a cross-sectional area of a thigh. That is healthy skeletal muscle. On the other end, E, this is a 66-year-old male who is very physically active, who is training, who's walking a million steps per day, only 12,000, and this tissue looks very similar to a youthful tissue. And in the middle, you have your Wagyu steak, and this is the majority of individuals that we know. This is a 66-year-old sedentary individual. This is not how we have to age. 